Hi everybody, this is the Math 10C Exponents and Radicals Review and this is short answer number 25. Simplify each expression, state the answer using positive exponents. Okay, well first of all take a look at this one here, it's, it's a product, okay, we're multiplying y to the negative 2 by y to the 5 halves, so what I got to do here is make this, when I multiply I got to add the exponents, so it's going to be negative 2 plus 5 halves. Okay, well now I got to do that, so negative 2 plus 5 halves, I'm going to do this over here, this is negative 2 over 1. To get a common denominator, I, it's going to be 2, I got to multiply this by 2, so this is going to be negative 4 over 2 plus 5 over 2, and negative 4 now plus 5, because you just add the numerators, just becomes 1, so 1 over 2. So then my answer simply becomes y to the 1 half. That's convenient, it's a nice little answer there. Now take a look at this one. Negative 8 x to the negative 6, all to the 1 third. Okay, well there's not much I can do here. I know it says with positive exponents, I'll deal with that in a bit. This is all to the 1 third. Now there's there's no addition between the factors here. This isn't two terms, it's just one term inside here. So that negative a third is going to become negative 8 to the 1 third, and then it's going to become x to the negative 6 to the 1 third. And remember what that power means when it's to the 1 third. That means a cube root. Well, the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2 because it's an odd root index. I'm going to preserve the negative. And now this becomes x to the negative 6 times 1 third. Well, now this is a power of a power. And now I would multiply those together. What is 1 third of 6? Well, it takes a couple seconds here to maybe see that that's going to be negative 2. And now I would deal with the negative exponent here. Now remember, that is separate. That negative 2 is only on the x. So this negative 2 up front stays there, and this becomes x squared in the denominator. Now, okay, now here's, there's a few things going on here. Look at this. So here I've got x cubed to the 1 half divided by x to the 5 halves to the 1 fifth. Okay, well, we should probably deal with what's going on in the numerator and the denominator first. So this is a power of a power, so you'd multiply those together, and 3 times a half is going to be just 3 halves. In the denominator, again, power of a power, so this is going to end up being x to the, now but watch this, this is kind of convenient, 5 halves times 1 fifth, well the 5's cancel and you're just left with 1 half. So now I've got power divided by power, I know that that means I'm going to subtract the exponents, so 3 halves minus 1 half. Well, 3 halves minus 1 half is just 2 halves. That's just 1. So after all that, this reduced down to just x to the 1. Well, I like that. That's kind of cool. Neat little answer there. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, this is x to the 1 quarter over 16x to the 3 quarters. Now, we should really simplify what's inside the brackets before we apply what's outside, the, the exponent there. So now this is going to be uh, x to the 1 quarter minus 3 quarters, okay, because they got the same base there. Uh, that's 16. There's not much I can do with the 16. Uh, nothing I can pair that up with. Let's just take a look at this. 1 quarter minus 3 quarters well, 1 minus 3, okay, we've already got a common denominator. 1 minus 3 is going to be negative 2. Negative 2 over 4 is just going to be the negative 1 half. So this is going to end up being x to the negative 1 half over 16, all to the 1 half. Okay, now that's getting a little cramped in here, so let's come up here. This is a power of a power, so I'd multiply the exponents together. That's going to get me x to the negative 1 quarter. I don't really need to do that down here. There's a, whoops, sorry, that's a 16. Uh, 16 to the 1 half, well, that's just the square root of 16. That's going to be 4. And now I would bring that negative x to the negative 1 quarters. It's going to cause the reciprocal, so this will become 1 over 4 x to the 1 quarter. Okay? Good. And finally, and again, this is a goofy one. Your eye should go immediately to that 0 right there. This whole beast here is just going to go to 1. This is all just about this one right here. And since this is a power of a power, I would multiply those together. 6 times a third is 2. So without really much effort, I can get that this answer here is supposed to be just x squared.